What's happening, everybody on YouTube? Steve again with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video. And in today's video, I want to share with you folks eight clothing items which I've sold in my eBay store within the last few days. Now, uh, recently, rumors have been flying that I got kicked off of eBay, that I no longer sell on eBay, this and that. But to um, give you guys the actual truth, I had my eBay store closed down on vacation mode for over a month while I was working on some other more urgent projects. So without further ado, let's jump into this clothing sales update and let me share with you guys eight items which have sold on my eBay store over the last few days. All right, the first item that I have sold is a beautiful Ted Baker button front shirt. What really stands out to me with this shirt is the colors. I like the pattern. Overall, just a really nice item and Ted Baker is a higher end brand. This brand is gonna cost anywhere between 70, 80 to over $100 in the store just for the basic button front shirts. So for $20, it really is a steal for somebody and was a great sale. Not 100% sure what I paid for this item, but I can't imagine I paid more than two or $3. So I'm gonna ship this off first class mail and after fees and all that good stuff, I should probably net around $10 profit at the end of the day, give or take. Next item that sold is a beautiful Armani Exchange button front shirt. Large, 100% cotton, slim fit. If you take a look at the tag, you're gonna notice it's the newer tag. This is definitely more current. One of the tags that you wanna be looking out for, especially with blazers and sport coats, this tag has done extremely well for me. What I really like about this shirt is the color, the pattern, and I like the fact that it's slim fit. I've noticed that the button front shirts that are marked slim fit always seem to do a little better and are definitely in demand. So really nice item right there. Pick this up for, I think I paid three or $4 and it sold for, it looks like $23. I'm not sure, it might be a little less. For some reason, when you run sales and you look at your sold items, it doesn't show it on this page, but this sold between 18 and $23. I have to double check that. Next item that sold is a beautiful Burberry button front shirt. If you take a look at the tag, this is definitely an older tag, probably from the 90s if I had to guess. You know, the same thing applies for the really big stuff being popular as the smaller stuff kind of doing well because there's so many like mediums and larges and extra larges, but there's really a limited amount of like 2X, 3Xs, and even on the other side of the spectrum, like the smalls. If you find a really good brand, a nice item, and it's really small or it's really big, there's a good chance that it's going to be able to make you some money. And uh, this definitely did. I paid, I think I paid $3 for this at a Salvation Army and it sold for $26. So really nice item right there. Burberry button front shirt. Next item on deck is a Peter Millar polo shirt. As you can see, it's got the nice logo on the front, striped, beautiful collar. And that sold for $18.89. Keep your eye out for that brand. The next item that sold is a nice Palm Beach blazer. Beautiful color. I love the two button style with the gold buttons. Take a look at the tag, Palm Beach. Now this only sold for $20, but the reason why I wanted to show this to you is just as an example to kind of let you know that even like some of the more common brands that you see all the time like Palm Beach can sell, people are looking for them and can make you money. Next up is a beautiful blazer and uh, take a look at this color. Super, super rare color, two button style, gold buttons. Just a really nice item. And the funny thing is, this doesn't even have a brand inside. Now, a lot of people, they always ask me, Steve, can I sell a blazer if it doesn't have a brand inside or there's no tag? And the answer to that, absolutely yes. Just make sure to disclose it doesn't have a brand. As you can see, I did in the title. Give a good description, provide all the measurements, you know, just explain the situation. And if you do, you could definitely sell it because this is a really hard color to come across. I don't think I've ever come across this color before. So when I saw it, I said to myself, I got to have this thing. I think I paid like $6 and it sold for 35 or 40 bucks, somewhere around there. Next item that sold is a two extra large Fasinable button front shirt, all white. Picture could definitely use a little improvement. You could tell it's kind of got, got a glare going on here, but still it's sold. When it comes to the white shirts like this one, make sure that there's no stains, that there's no hidden flaws, because that's a big issue right there with the white shirts. And also make sure that you provide the measurements with these bigger sized items, because a lot of people are buying the two extra large because it's a two extra large, and sometimes it'll be shrunken down. The pit to pit will only be like 22 or 23 inches, which is equivalent to like a large so make sure you measure it make sure there's no flaws but the white shirts will do well in good condition this was a two extra large 100 percent linen button front shirt awesome brand this sold for i think around 20 dollars 
And the last item that sold was probably my best sale over the last few days. This is a Ralph Lauren Polo University suit. Awesome color. Love the stripes. It was in excellent condition. This was a size 40 regular, which is a really popular size for men. For $69.99, I think I paid maybe $9 or $10 for this. Let's take a look at the listing. 100% wool, 40 regular, 22-inch pit to pit. 19 inch shoulders. So I include one, two, three, four, five, six, seven measurements in my listing for the suits. You could actually even include some more, but make sure you're including the measurements because a lot of times if you don't, I mean, even with clothing in general, you're going to get returns, but especially with suits, people are really picky about these things. And a lot of times if it doesn't fit them perfectly, they'll return it. They won't even want to get it tailored. So make sure you provide the measurements. Those were my eight clothing items that sold on my eBay store over the last few days. Again, I didn't get kicked off eBay. I'm still in the game. I'm still here rocking out with you guys with the clothing. But once in a while, you know, I like to take a break and focus on other things. So there's nothing wrong with that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you could reach out to me in the comment section or find me on Facebook at Rake and Profit. But that's about it. Keep on picking and making that money, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.